Thanks for tuning in. This is Sweet Cyclist. Today we're going to be looking at the Camelback Podium 3.0 water bottles. So here we have the full lineup of updated Podium 3.0 water bottles from Camelback. These are a really popular line of bottles that have been updated in 2019 to better fit bottle cages and also be a lot easier to clean. Starting from the left, I have the standard Podium bottle. These are all 21 ounces, by the way. So on the left is the standard version. This is $10. Next we have the dirt version, which is $13. And with the dirt version, you get different graphics and you get this little rubber cap here that prevents the cap from getting dirty. So especially if you're mountain biking and you have a down tube mount, this can prevent all the crud from getting uh, stuck on your cap. Next we have their insulated version. This is the chill. This is the dirt one again with the little rubber cap. The rubber cap is easily removable. So you can convert it to a standard version if you're doing road biking. This is twice as insulated as the other bottles. And finally, we have the Big Dog, the $25 ice. This is four times the insulated and uses their aerogel technology. From the factory, you get the remove tag, as well as some informational pamphlets here that's easily removable. So you can see it just pops off. The uh, before use cap is also a lot easier to remove. You simply have to yank it off and you see the plastic will rip, so much better than the previous iteration. The big thing here is all the caps are updated, whether you have the dirt or non-dirt, so same caps. You can see their locking ring here, so you can simply rotate this, and that's what they call their positive lockout. The form factor here has been updated to have this little uh, smaller ring here. That's designed to be optimized for bike cages. And they also have a little grit filter here. So if I take this off, this is what I call their gunk filter. And that'll prevent any junk from actually going through and just prevent and just allow the water to come out from the sides. Now let's take a second to look at the weight of the bottles. Starting with the standard podium, that is 80 grams. The dirt version, which simply adds a little rubber cap, comes in at 84, so the cap's about four grams. The insulated chill version with the dirt cap comes in at 114. And then the big ice version, which is more insulating, comes in at 142. So now let's go over the fit and finish of the bottles. They all have the same cap, and as I mentioned, the dirt series only has the addition of this little rubber piece. As I mentioned, this is $6 separately, but only $3 more if you buy it from the, with the bottle. I found this to be a little flimsy. It certainly helps to cover it, but uh, it's not very secure once you have it on. It won't fall off, but you can see it's not very uh, nicely designed. It's just an add-on. So that's the dirt version. The insulated versions, what's really surprising about them is that they take up quite a bit of capacity due to the double wall design. So if you see here, these are all 21 ounces. But with the uh, chill version, which is twice as insulated, you see the cap is a lot taller as the inner diameter smaller. And then once you go to the ice version, you can see again, you lose some capacity and as a result, you get a much taller water bottle. Aside from that, I think the most important thing is uh, the updated cap design. So let's go ahead, pop one open and See what it looks like. So all the caps are the same whether you get insulated, non-insulated, dirt. Uh, Camelback also has a lot of cool designs and you can see they've updated the form factor to have this ring instead of these little ridges. I found these to be really easy to use and they're very squeezable. Not quite as squeezable as say like an elite bottle but squeezable enough that it's really easy to modulate. Also these caps are interchangeable with the older versions of the bottle so if you have an old one you really like you can just swap it in. So now let's take a look at how cleanable these are now. Uh, you can first off, you can see how big the nozzle is. It's a lot larger diameter than before. Here is the junk filter. So just a little plastic cap. Then you have a locking plastic ring here, which comes off pretty easily. Then you have the whole jet assembly here, which is just held on. Uh, just with a little force, you can pop that off. So you can push it through. And this is really cool. With the previous version, you could definitely not do this. You won't have to go through quite 
this much work every time you want to clean your bottle, but after longer rides, I would highly recommend doing this, especially if you use a drink mixture. So go ahead and pop this out. It takes some force. So with that off, you can see now you have the cap. Really easy to clean. The ridges are all accessible. Now we have the full jet assembly. We can further disassemble this by taking off the O-ring. Next, we can actually take the cover off the actual nozzle. And this was one big issue with the previous version. You'd get a lot of junk on the inside of this. But with this design, it's very clean on the inside. You can simply put a little scrubber through here and if anything gets underneath here, you can pop this off and clean it very easily. So here you can see everything disassembled, a lot cleaner, a lot easier to use. Reassembly is very simple. We take our O-ring, put it back on, we put the cover of the cap again, slide that in. So this one takes quite a bit of force to really pop it in place. Next, we just slide this through. Right, it's compressing the little tongs. Next, we'll put our little locking ring here. And then we'll put our little junk filter back on. So you see, it comes uh, down to a lot smaller pieces than before. Wider nozzle and a lot easier to clean. Now let's do a little comparison between the Podium bottles and other bottles on the market. I think for the standard Podium, the Elite Fly bottles are a pretty good comparison. This is a slightly larger version than the 21 ounce here. But you can see design-wise, the Elite is a little bit more modern and a more uniform design. The cap is flat. However, they use a much simpler cap here. Uh, this is a bite valve instead of the jet valve on the uh, Camelbacks, which means it will leak if you flip it upside down. It also means you have to squeeze more to actually uh, drink out of the Elite. However, it's a lot more squeezable than the Podium. Also, it's a lot lighter weight, and it's also biodegradable versus the Podium 3.0 bottle. However, I really like the jet valve on the uh, Camelback. It's a little easier to use, especially on the road. If you compare the dirt version again, it's just graphics difference and the little uh, dirt cap here. If we go to the insulated version, I think this is a little more interesting comparison. This is the Dirt version versus the Elite Ice Fly. So these are both insulated. And what you can see here is they've actually gone a little bit different route as far as uh, keeping the cap clean. I like Elite's uh, cap a little bit better here rather than this little flimsy rubber piece. They actually went with a full-on cover. Now this is a little uh, less convenient to drink out of when you're riding. You'll obviously have to stop, but that's the same issue with the little rubber cap. Otherwise, same, uh, same observations. It's softer for the Elite, a little bit less durable, and a lot lighter. But again, it uses that same uh, bite valve style. What's also interesting is if I'll pop off the dirt thing and compare this to the old Podium bottle. So you can see this is a very well-used version. Uh, the outer design here on the previous bottles was more of these little ridges. So it's easy to carry and hold, but now it's a lot easier with the... Uh, smaller diameter ring. Also, the big difference here is the cap. You can see it's significantly larger, so you get a lot more water out of this one. And if we zoom in here, you can see this already has a lot of crud in there. Uh, to clean this, you can only pop off the cover and then pop out the valve. But it's a lot more uh, inconvenient and a lot more ridges that are difficult to access versus the new Podium 3. So definitely a huge improvement and a lot easier to clean. And if you have an older bottle, you can always get the cap as they're interchangeable. Next is the Podium Ice. So this is the four times insulating versions. These are both the 21 ounce versions. Uh, this is the old version versus the new version. You can see the new design is a lot cleaner. The graphics on this one are a little more restrained, so more modern looking. And again, the big difference is the cap. You can see how tall the previous cap was. And again, a lot grimier and dirtier. 
Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Camelback Podium bottles. What I really like about the bottles are the improved form factor, the easier to hold and easier to put in your cage. And also the redesigned cap is a lot easier to clean. It actually comes apart in more pieces and you have less ridges to attract mold. And finally, the jet valve is one of the best parts about the Camelback bottles. They're no spill and very high flow. Some of the negatives are the heavier weight of the bottles, especially compared to something like the Elite bottles. Also, removing the valve body does take some force. You really have to push in these, the uh, prongs to get it out. And finally, those mud caps on the Dirt Series bottles, they don't feel very secure. Uh, I would prefer something more uh, secure like the plastic cap that you see in some other uh, bottles. Taking everything into account, I would give a rating of 9.2 out of 10 for the Podium 3 bottles. I think they're one of the best bottles on the market and it's great to see more improvements from Camelback to make them easier to use and cleaner. Thanks for watching for review. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You can see more content from us at our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.